it was the brainchild of the owner more than anything else, you know, Mr. Sharon, uh, what he created in obviously Bangalore with, you know, a community project there, an infrastructure there. And obviously before COVID, you know, it was going really strong. Then COVID uh, sort of like come in, got involved and we had to really start thinking about what we was going to do. But, you know, it was testing times. We built uh, the Bangalore infrastructure up in the football club, you know, South United Football Club. Then we started thinking, now, how can we help anybody else? Where can we go to help anybody else? And we started going to places like, obviously, Pune is our first stop. You know, obviously, we had to get an array of coaches in, uh, which, we, which we have done, as you see the coaches in the background and I think just facilitate football and the growth of football you know as as leaders and growing the game in Pune through all different uh, moments you know holistically uh, player centered coaches centered and building a program you know we are a football club we're just not an academy we are a football club and I think if we can bring what we've done and achieved in Bangalore can we achieve it in Pune? Not not just on the football field, but off the football field and all. Uh, Player-centred approach with you know from tots up to uh, the first team. I think there is. I think we we're going to be probably doing that. You know, like I said before, we're going to start from real grassroots, two years of age, two and a half years of age, up to five years of age in the tots program. You know, we've got the junior development program, youth development program, and then obviously we're going to be looking at our elite teams and all. So there's a great pathway. But on top of that, we've also got a first team. We can also travel with our elite teams. We can also travel down to Bangalore. So that's a little bit more unique uh, than just playing in Pune. We'll give them an outreach program. We'll give them the best we possibly can do with uh, a player-centred, coach-centred approach of uh, an, an holistic approach and that's what we'll try and do really yes i think that boils down to a a lot of points really you know depends what we're looking at if we're looking at uh, the academy as such you know the, the development uh, approach you know we 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 have a lot of uh, parents who are asking through different uh, social medias. We have walk-ins in the academy bracket. But I think if we're looking at the advanced teams and the elite teams, obviously we'll be holding tryouts for that. We'll identify that with our coaches, with our head of youth development, with the academy managers, and obviously with myself and with the head coach. And that's what we'll probably do there. So that's another pathway, 13s, 15s and uh, U17s. But it's got to be done in the right way. It's got to be done in... Uh, an approach that we are looking for you know students to fall in love with the game and all and keeping the game as well as developing them into professional football players well i mean it starts at the bottom again it starts at the top it starts from you know the owner of what they want and the directors of what they want and then it fills down to the the, the coaching and the coaching philosophy the, the club philosophy, the, the club uh, innovations, uh, and then we're looking at the, the students. We all have a different array of students coming in. They all come in for different uh, moments. Some come in because they want to see how the, the football is and fall in love with it. Some come in because they want to, you know, be fitter. You know, and, and, and this is what it's really about. Well, I think the, the, the plans has already started, isn't it? You know, if you look at the early stages, we built an infrastructure in uh, Bangalore, which was absolutely fantastic. It took its time because of COVID, but we got over that. You know, the, the owner, Mr. Sharon, worked very, very hard uh, to keep it on going through the COVID, which he, which he has done. And then now we're looking at spreading our wings a little bit in the ecosystem. We've come to Pune uh, now. And what we delivered in... You know, Bangalore, we're looking to deliver in Pune uh, in, a, in a different way. Yes, we have got fields. We've got three centres in Pune at this present time. You know, we've got an academy. We've got a, a beautiful array of uh, coaches uh, at all different levels who are still growing. They've all done their licences. And it gives them an opportunity and all. And it's not just about on the field, it's off the field and all. Uh, employability skills, we're giving that out, you know, to... Uh, our coaches and we're looking for more coaches and all to come in and add to that ecosystem maybe for the All Indian Football Federation.